All right, today we are gonna factor expressions using the GCF, the greatest common factor method. So I'm gonna go through one, two, three examples and then I will leave you with some practice problems to make sure that you've understood everything you learned here today. So factoring, first of all, let's start with what that concept is. Factoring just means to take an expression and rewrite it so that it's the product of two factors or more factors. So let's start with something as simple as the number 10. If you were asked to factor the number 10, it just means rewrite it so that it's something times something else. So I could factor the number 10 by writing five times two. Now, of course, it gets much more complicated than that, but that's the general idea behind it. We're gonna take an expression and we're gonna rewrite it so that it's the product of two or more factors. All right, so let's start with a y plus 20. When you're using the greatest common factor method, it means that you're going to look for the greatest common factor of all of the terms in our expression. So terms are separated by addition or subtraction, meaning that I have two terms here in this expression. So ignore the variable for a second. We're just going to look at the numerical portion of the GCF first. So looking at the number eight and the number 20, I'm looking for the greatest number that they have in common as a factor. So what is that number? If you said two, two is a common factor for eight and 20. It does go into both of them but it's not the greatest one. So we're always looking to, to factor out the greatest common factor, and that in this case is a four, all right? So in this example, because both terms do not have a variable, only this one does, we can't have the variable be part of the common factor because it's not common. So our greatest common factor here is just four. So now, like I said a minute ago, factoring just means rewriting as one factor times another factor. So I'm looking to see four times what is gonna get me my original expression of eight y plus 20. So if you're writing this down as steps, your first step is to find the greatest common factor of all the terms. The second step would be to divide each of the terms by the greatest common factor. So the second step would be to divide each of the terms by the greatest common factor. Eight y divided by four is two y. So that's what I'm gonna start with in my parentheses. And I can see that if I'm kind of thinking one step ahead to distributing this out to checking, if I multiply four times two y, I'm gonna get eight y, right? So that's your, your check. Second term was 20. So again, we're dividing each of these terms by our greatest common factor. 20 divided by four is five, it's a positive five. So I'm gonna write plus five. So four is my first factor, two y plus five is my second factor and I have factored the expression 8y plus 20. Again, a quick check, it should just distribute and make sure you get the expression you started with. All right, let's get the examples a little more complicated. So we're gonna go to 3x squared plus 12x cubed. So we can start with the numerical portion again. So looking at the three and the 12, what is the greatest number that can go into both three and 12? It's a factor of three and 12. The answer there is three. So three is part of my GCF. What I notice in this example is that both terms this time contain an x. So because they both contain an x, that means that the variable can be part of the greatest common factor. The question is just how many x's am I going to take out to be part of the greatest common factor? So x squared means x times x. x cubed means x times x times x. So what is the greatest amount of x's that I can take out as factors that both terms have in common? Well, I can take a maximum of two out of here and there are two in this one as well. So two is the maximum amount of X's that I can take out. I cannot factor out X cubed because while there are three X's here being multiplied, there aren't three here. So remember you need it to be in common with both. So the shortcut is when you're dealing with variables, just take the lower exponent out of all of the um, terms that contain a variable, just take the lowest exponent. So X squared, is going to be part of my GCF as well. So 3x squared is my whole GCF. And now I'm following that same step two, which was we're gonna open the parentheses and divide each term by the GCF, okay? It's kind of like I'm just backwards distributing. I'm asking myself to get from 3x squared to 3x squared, what would I have to multiply by, right? Well, if I have 3x squared, I need 3x squared. I only need to multiply by one because it's the same exact term, right? If you do by division, we're doing 3x squared divided by 3x squared, that's one. Anything divided by itself is one, all right? The next term, I have 3x squared. I need to multiply it by something that's gonna get me to 12x cubed. So it's gonna be positive because it's a positive 12. Three times four is gonna get me to the 12. And x squared times 
x is going to get me to x cubed, right? If you remember your rules for multiplying with the same base, when we multiply powers with the same base, we're actually adding the exponent. So 2 plus invisible 1 over here will get me to the x cubed that I need, all right? And again, if you're doing it the division way, 12x cubed divided by my GCF, 3x squared, 12 divided by 3 is 4, and x cubed divided by x squared is just x or x to the first power. Again, remembering division rules for exponents, if the bases are the same, you keep the base and you subtract the exponents in division. So that's where that one comes from. So 3x squared times 1 plus 4x is the factored version of our second example. We're going to do one more example where we get three terms in here to make it a little more complicated. And when you're dealing with three terms, you have to make sure that every single term contains that factor, that greatest common factor. Again, the word common, right? So let's look at the numbers first. We have a 14 negative 2 and a 20. What is the greatest number that can go into all three of those? That is a 2. Now let's look at the variables and see if any variable can be part of our GCF. Every term has an x, so that means that it can be part of it. And now remember the shortcut that I said was just take the smallest exponent. So we have x to the fourth, we have x to the seventh, and we have x to the invisible one. So that is the smallest one. That is the maximum amount of x's that I can take out as a factor, right? I can't take out any more than that because that third term only has one x there. So I can't take out any more than that. So 2x is my GCF. Again, following that same last step, divide each term by the GCF. So 14x to the fourth divided by 2x is going to give me 7x to the third. One more time, those division rules for dividing with the same base. Same base, keep the base subtract the exponents. 4 minus invisible 1 is a 3, right? Next one, to get negative 2 divided by positive 2 is negative 1. x to the 7th divided by x is x to the 6th. And last term, 20 divided by 2 is positive 10. And x divided by x is just 1, so I don't need it because 10 times 1 would just be 10, right? And a quick check, if we distribute back, 2x times 7x cubed, that's 14. And again, that multiplication rule says I keep the base and add the exponents. 1 plus 3 gives me 4, right? Nice quick check for you. 2 times negative 1 is negative 2. Keep my x, add my exponents, there's that 7. 2 times 10 is 20. I only have an x to the first, and that's exactly what I had in my original expression, all right? So remember, three terms or more than three terms, you have to have a common factor for every single term, all right? I'm going to leave you some practice problems and I will put the answers to the practice problems in the description of the video so that you know if you got them correct or not. So if you got them right, give yourself a shout out. If you get one wrong and you can't find your error, feel free to leave a comment and I will try to help you out.